Welcome to the hardest challenge in RuneScape, Nightmare Mode. I have one HP, and if I take damage at any point, my account gets deleted. And the first 107 did. My goal is split up into three phases, and phase one is the world's first ever fire cape without ever taking damage. The current goal is simple, but also not so simple. Now that I'm 33 magic, we need to find a way to get law runes. I could go to the Major Arena Bank and get them, just buy them. It is a little bit risky, but I think there's one other way I can explore getting law runes, and that's completing the Monk's Friend quest. Get this, you get eight law runes for completing this quest, but it's honestly kind of dangerous. I don't know if I can complete it. And let me show you why I think that. I'm gonna grab some armor out of the bank, just in case, you know, you never know what can happen. Happen. I'm not going to be going into any direct danger, but there will be danger there. So there's a ladder in this circle of stones. We're going to go down it into a bit of a hideout. Okay, so in this room, there's a child's blanket. I need to get that back for the monk to do the first step of the quest, but there's three thieves in here, and one of them is level 26. Could telegrab it if I had law runes, but that's the whole reason I'm doing this quest. And these guys are level 14, so if I got one more combat level, they would not be aggressive to me anymore. I guess I'm going to get this combat level then. I need my magic higher anyway, but I think it's it's worth noting that since we've gotten up to 28 combat, the heat map is starting to look different. Monsters become unaggressive once you're more than double their combat level. The higher we get, we're slowly unlocking new safe areas. 34 magician. And this fake hit point level does get me to 29 combat. So the two thieves in the hideout should ignore me now. The problem is the head thief still won't. I'm honestly set on completing this quest. I really want to do it, but I think the best play is still to go to Mage Bank because I forgot that I also need combat cosmic runes for enchanting jewelry and once again mage bank is the place to get those too honestly if i'm going to mage bank i am going there as a wealthy man i cannot go there with a thousand coins i'll buy like four law runes and i'll just have to go there again so if i can go there with like 30 40 000 gp i can buy like 100 law runes 50 cosmic runes just have plenty of runes for the foreseeable future energy is so important in runescape and almost as important in real life which is why today's sponsor is ag1 about a year and a half ago i was treating my body like a circus eating junk food not exercising i felt like i was getting tired constantly and it's because i had a ton of nutritional and physical gaps in my life i was looking for something to make me feel better and have more energy and that's when i learned about ag1 through the dr huberman podcast at the time ag1 is a foundational nutritional supplement with 75 high quality vitamins minerals and whole food source ingredients prebiotics and probiotics for gut health adaptogens to help you deal with stress it's nsf certified for sport to guarantee the highest quality and safety i had to try it for myself and it's become a part of my morning routine ever since. It did wonders for my energy levels and gut health and just overall feeling better. I noticed the benefits within a week and everything else just started to come together. I started to have the energy to hit the gym again, to put my life in gear, and it all started with taking one minute a day to pour this powder in a water bottle and drink it. I reached out to Athletic Greens after my experience, hoping to get them on here, and one year later, they're here as a sponsor of the channel. So do both of us a favor and click the link in the description or scan the QR code in the bottom left to get a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 and K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Go check it out. And now back to nightmare mode. It's been six hours and 48 minutes since I last bought gems, which means we're on a fresh restock. The worlds are looking really good right now. There's a couple of sapphires missing, but the emeralds are where most of the profit is and every single one is free right now. Boom, 43 crafting. We can now cut diamonds. It would be nice to have a more consistent money maker. I'm not going to lie. I am currently staying up until 3.30 in the morning just to have this specific restock available to me. As you can see, though, it's treating me insanely well. I'm about to hit 40k cash on the account for the first time ever, so I'm not going to say it's a bad method. I also think as soon as I release the videos on this method, everyone's going to try to do this on their Iron Man, and then I will no longer be able to do it. So that's why I'm abusing it while I can. 45 crafting. That should probably give you an idea of how long I've been doing this. We can now make snakeskin boots, red topaz amulets. It's been a great run at this gem store. The cash stack will also probably give you an idea as to how long I've been here. That was the greatest gem session I have ever had on this account and probably will ever have. Just that was unbeatable. 52k cash made and we're off to Mage Bank to get a ton of runes. I can buy so many runes with that. I'm so happy. Okay, let's make our run over to Mage Bank. 
No one at the lever itself. We're looking good. Even when I was using the lever on all 107 accounts before this, I never saw anyone camping it. So definitely pretty rare for someone to catch me here. Obviously still would rather avoid it. There's no escaping or tanking on this account. It's just one hit and I'm dead. So I've just been staring at my minimap this whole run over here. And I think we finally made it. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy to make it here. Obviously very high chance that I make it here safely, but it's just everything is so intense on this account for me. Definitely need to buy some cosmic runes and we're going to be hopping a lot of worlds so I can get a really good price on all the law runes I want to buy. I think just buying 10 per world is the play. I don't want to spend too much of my money and I don't think I need any nature runes for now, so I'm going to hold off. Yeah, 10 law runes per world. We'll get as many as we can and that should be good for the next, I don't know, probably a couple weeks. I don't think I'll use that many law runes just yet. I'd say a couple weeks as if it's just set in stone that this account is going to live that long. I hope it does. I really love this account. I want it to go so far. It's just, it's funny how I usually talk talk like that. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just going to be using these runes for that long. Have you subscribed yet? New episodes every Wednesday. What a weird dialogue to put in the game. But yeah, obviously I'm subscribed. Damn, it feels so good to have this many runes. 170 law runes. I feel like a king, bro. We've got 80 cosmic runes as well. That's going to last like a year. That's for all the jewelry we're going to make. Let's chronicle ourselves out of here and use some telegrams for the first time. It is gold bar time. I'm so hyped. I'm going to grab like five, maybe six bars for all the different types of jewelry I want to make. Oh, we can make a magic amulet that's so big i want to start slayer probably within the next 24 hours as well so a magic amulet i can make a defense amulet later before we get to any of that i really want to finish monk's friend and i'm gonna go do it let's grab this log and this jug of water it's time top over to lucky world 508 and try this out i'm uh i'm a little nervous either way i mean the level 14 thieves shouldn't be aggressive to me anymore it's just the head thief that i have to be worried about i have to make sure he's in a, uh, a far away spot. Okay, we're going for it. Perfect window. Stalled for six game ticks. We're out of here. Go, 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 go. Let's go, dude. Everything on this account just feels amped up to one billion. Just telegraphing the child's blanket was intense. That stall was really long. That did have me a little worried, not gonna lie, but I'm so glad we got out of it. Here's your blanket, Mr. Monk. I'm just gonna hand the logs and the jug of water to the monk to the south here, and we'll be all done. Look, it's obviously not the craziest quest to have completed. It doesn't even do that much for me now that I have law runes. It does give me some woodcutting XP, which I will happily take, but... I just want to complete as many quests as I possibly can on this account. I think that's one of the things that makes this account so impressive is completing as many quests as we possibly can. So that is one out of the way. 13 woodcutting. Nice little start. It's time for some upgrades. Big ones too. This is what the last five hours have been about. Let's get ourselves one of every useful mold. We're going to be making a lot of different pieces of jewelry. But most importantly, I need an amulet mold. And I'll buy a needle and thread for some armor later. Nothing else. I think we're good. And we'll need our cosmics to enchant. In fact, I might need some water runes. Yes, I do. Okay. We make our emerald amulet. And we make our sapphire amulet attach the balls of wool we've got our defense amulet i've never had an excuse to make one of these but i finally have one it's so good plus seven in each defensive stat it's actually got a use for me and lastly uh i'm gonna string the sapphire amulet but we have to go get some water runes from varrock as usual we're gonna run all the way around i don't have like any elemental runes in my bank so i'm just gonna stock up on some i think it's fine to have a bunch since i have some extra money and now that we have water runes we can make our magic amulet this magic amulet doubles my magic attack bonus so basically the best upgrade i can get right now honestly i kind of just want to keep going for upgrades i want to start recipe for disaster to get myself a good pair of gloves or not a good pair of gloves but an okay pair of gloves just getting the first step of recipe for disaster done unlocks the bank chest in lumbridge basement which also sells our first pair of gloves with stats and a ton of different ingredients and supplies. I need 10 cooking to start this quest, which is kind of weird because I'll never need food on this account, but I do have to train cooking to start this. So I guess we'll just go fish some like shrimp or something. It shouldn't be a big deal. It's not really something I've thought about, but every account relies on healing and food and stuff. And I'm just never gonna use any food on this account. It's completely useless to me. Even brews are useless to me on this account. Okay, time to do cook's assistant. More like I'll bring you the ingredients for this cake. 
Do I leave that in? Flour acquired, milk, egg. Incredible achievement, cook's assistant done. I wanted to get that done because, well, A, I need it for recipe for disaster anyway, but uh, now I can use the Lumbridge range, which has higher success rate, so I can cook the rest of my shrimp. Okay, what is this burn rate? What is happening? I have a 65% chance to cook these. What is happening? That's so bad. That's so unlucky. Seven cooking. If I didn't burn six in a row there, I would have had it, but I have to go <laughs> fish more. Ten cooking. You guys can be proud of me now. This quest is going to take us for a little trip around the world. On screen, I'll have all the items I need. I don't think any of them are in dangerous places, but they are all in different places, so I know exactly what to do. I really need a better way to get to Artie. I do not want to use that lever anymore, so one of the things on my to-do list right now is to find a better way to get here. You know what? While we're here, let's buy 20 balls of wool for the sheep shear quest that's going to save me a lot of time it's time to get 37 magic for the falador teleport that's where i'm going to get one of my recipe for disaster items and i just need higher magic in general it's so nice having you teleports so 35 magic firebolt unlocked 36 and a nice little 37 magic teleport to falador unlocked finally have some decent mobility on this account with three teleports and a bunch of law runes time to start taking off these items and it's almost like one of these is very close to a falador teleport that we just unlocked let's buy our Ourselves. Well, I might as well buy herb lore supplies for later. I'll definitely be back here at some point, but for now we need the Eye of Newt, and I think that's all I'm buying here. Let's get a rotten tomato from Varrock, and now Greenman's Ale we can get in Yanil, so we're gonna have to take a Castle Wars teleport. I love minigame teleports, so useful. As long as I avoid the massive stretch of ogres to the north, we'll be completely fine. We just have to make it to the bar in Yanil. Those ogres want to do one damage to me so bad. They would have like a 60% chance of doing it uh, as well, just off the top of my head from everything I've learned about these damage calcs. I'll be grabbing my green man's ale from here, which leaves one final thing, a dirty blast. Thankfully, we have a nice safe walk to the Grand Tree, so I'll see you there. Before we get the final item, we have something very important to do. Agility is probably a huge question mark on this account for a lot of people. So many agility obstacles can do damage if you fail. The key is knowing which ones can't be failed, which is a surprising amount of them. Agility is needed for so many different things in this game. Quests, obstacles, diaries, you name it. So many agility requirements. And the Gnome Agility course is one of two courses in the game that can't be failed, which means risk-free agility training. I'm gonna unlock a lot of shortcuts after I get agility up, and that being said, I have to be so careful on which shortcuts I choose to use. A lot of them can do potential damage. One of the first things I usually do on a lot of accounts is get 30 agility, because it'll almost double my energy recharge rate, but I've put it off on here because I wasn't sure if I should start getting invested in this account. And I probably shouldn't until I get protection prayers, but I'm falling into the pit of attachment, and while we're in the area, it's time to grind some unfailable agility levels. Yes, my first maze. I finally got a maze random. I'm so excited. This can be so good. This can actually be so good for the account. I got to scout this out. A lot of people do not know the maze tech. If you go on the tile before the door and then you click to get into it, you will open the door twice as fast. See, I still messed up twice here, but I'm going to get a 77% reward, which is really good for this layout, I feel like. Oh, that is good. Wow, I got chaos deaths and some... Okay, I don't really care about the arrows, but honestly, the, the deaths and the chaos runes, the maze random is just so good. The maze random reward is also based off your total level, by the way. An hour and a half later and 155 laps. We now have pretty much double energy recharge. Not quite there, but it's pretty damn close, close enough. And we can't do any of these courses because we will die immediately. Okay, time to get this final item for recipe for disaster. Make a fruit blast and pour this into the glass. Okay, we still need ashes to make this. I may have gone AFK while I waited for my fire to burn out. Oh, yes, my ashes were good. Okay, that's our dirty blast. I'm so curious how far I can go in this quest. That is the start of it. Awesome, but there are eight parts to this quest, and a lot of them are going to have unavoidable damage. But every single part you complete gives you access to better gloves in the chest in the basement. It would be so good to get some really, really good gloves on this account, but... 
I don't think I can get better than like steel. I really have to do a lot of theory crafting to find out how many sub quests I can do. Beautiful bank chest unlocked and also the hard leather gloves, which is awesome. I don't think I've ever worn those unironically. And here we go, the supply chest, which is gonna be so useful for a ton of different quests, just getting everything from here. Well, let's buy ourselves a pair of the best gloves we can currently access. So these give an attack bonus and a strength bonus. They're the only gloves in the game right now that can do that for me. While we're in the area, let's go complete Sheep Shear, and then we can finally get started on Slayer, which is gonna be a journey on this account, to say the least. Sheep Shearer. As usual, pretty much the best start you can get to Slayer is completing this mini quest that gives you a thousand Slayer XP, so I might as well do it. Take like five minutes to fix the answers on the displays, and what do you know? A thousand Slayer and Hunter XP. Hunter is gonna be so crucial on this account too, but probably not gonna touch it until a bit later. I think it's time we revisit the most important problem of the series, 43 Prayer. I don't have a ton of options to get this level. It's been such a brick wall for me mentally. How do you get this level? What's the best way to do it? Collecting big bones in the giant pit? Can't really guarantee that the aggression timer doesn't reset if I step into a new chunk and I get bopped by a hill giant. Lava dragons, way too dangerous. Boneyard, way too dangerous. Chaos altar, way too dangerous. Killing 12,000 chickens or seagulls? Viable. But still not what I want to do. After all, this is all about phase one. I need a fire cape. So how do I get closer to that goal while also getting close to the most important thing that'll keep this account safe? I think the answer is Slayer. Tons of different Slayer monsters drop in sold heads, which I can reanimate for prayer XP. And this is something I considered a while ago, but I didn't think there was a safe way to kill the reanimated monsters. But there is, if you safe spot them on the east side of the Arceus altar, and as long as they're two by two. This puts in sold heads on the table. It's worth noting that to even get to the Dark Altar and change my spellbook, I need 55 combat to make the bats and skeletons unaggressive to me. Slayer is gonna help with that. Some tasks might not be safe spotable, but we're gonna figure that out. If we hit a brick wall, we hit a brick wall. This is not the fastest way to get 43 prayer. In fact, it's a gamble. If I die to something avoidable because I didn't have protection prayers, it's gonna sting a lot. That's a risk I'm willing to take to get both Slayer and prayer up at the same time. Because getting high Slayer on this account is the key to greatness. Every good thing lies behind a high Slayer level. All the Slayer weapons, including my potential bolts for the fight cave if I get a crossbow. 55 Slayer and 40 43 prayer, a dual top priority now. This is the last time I used the arty lever. In fact, it's why I scouted it on another account because I didn't want to die on my last time using it and there was someone waiting there, what the heck? Let's walk over to the fishing shop because I have a plan to never use the arty lever again, but I'm gonna need a fishing rod and some bait to do it. I'll have to use it if I need to go back to Mage Bank for more law runes, but that's not for a pretty long time since I got 170 law runes, so I'm chilling for now. I just really want to unlock a different teleport to get to this area. Always got to watch out for this giant bat to the east. It's still one of the very few monsters that's dangerous on my route to Camelot. The plan, by the way, is to unlock the fishing trawler minigame teleport. You can't use it until you get 15 fishing, so that's why I bought the rod and the bait. This sets me really close to Artie, and it'll be a safe way of getting there rather than taking a tiny little risk on the lever every time I want to get back. Here. Nice and quick, 15 fishing. This is where the minigame teleport takes me, and then I'll just have to run up to get to Artie. It's really close by, so that's an awesome unlock. It's time to do something I've been waiting to do. I am back at the Monk of Zamrak, and this time I will be able to grab his robes when I kill him. We are officially preparing for Slayer. I'm gonna be doing pretty much all my Slayer through Fire Strike. It's just gonna be so much better DPS than anything else. It's safe, I can safe spot things. So we are gearing up, trying to find our absolute best magic robe and these are it. 5% chance for the top or the bottom to drop from this guy. So we're just gonna hop worlds, farm it, and telegrab it as soon as we get the drop. <gasps> Yo, on kill number six, we get the top. Oh, that's sick. That was so sick. I'm so happy. Nice little plus two magic, plus three prayer. So good. Pff, oh my God, eight kills. Eight kills for the top and the bottom. No duplicates or anything. Okay, we take those. That's so sick. I'm so happy. We've got our best magic rooms for probably like the next 100 hours of gameplay. You love to see it. Plus four magic from both of these. We are so ready for Slayer. I'm just gonna have my little magic setup and I'm gonna have my full defense setup just in case I need to run through anything sketchy. And obviously I'm gonna avoid anything dangerous no matter what, but I will always have my armor on me just in case. Okay, let's make ourselves a game snugless and it's time, it's finally time. I gotta be honest, guys, I think this 55 Slayer goal on this account is, uh, I, I don't know, just getting 55 Slayer without taking a single point of damage just sounds 
so psychotic. I'm so nervous, but so excited. Let's see what our first task is on this account. There are a couple tasks that can be really bad for me. Let's see what we get first. 48 ghosts. I think that's fine. I don't know where I'm gonna kill them yet. I gotta figure that out. Okay, the ghost plan is in motion. I spent half an hour planning this out. The first step, teleport to Castle Wars. We're gonna run up from Castle Wars past the observatory to a massive stretch of red on the heat map. As soon as we get closer to this very intense heat zone, I'm gonna have my finger on the chronicle at all times. There are a couple of grizzly bears that could hit me here. Yeah, I just need to make it past this one grizzly here, and that should be... The majority of the danger and i think we're good when i tested this on a main it was actually a lot harder to get past those two grizzly bears they were in an awkward spot but the ghosts are aggressive to me so i have to be insanely careful and they do have a pretty decent chance of hitting me the plan is to lure this one ghost there is one ghost at the bottom of this cliff that i'm just going to be killing on repeat and he gets stuck on these bushes so as soon as I kill him, I'm probably going to hop worlds. I don't think it's safe to lure any other ghost from when I was testing this. We only have 48 ghosts and it's 20 Slayer XP per kill. So we should get another 1000 XP from this task. Let's just hop worlds. I also made sure that no ghost can just naturally be waiting under this tile on this bush. We also have the Monks of Zamorak there that are aggressive to me. So I just need to not run north under any circumstance. And as you can see, I can get dragged. So I need to be locked in for this entire Slayer task. I'm not even glancing off my monitor. My eyes are just glued to this screen. Nice little 39 magic. Very cool. Crumble undead now. Not sure what I'm going to use that for just yet. I guess it would be cool on this task. And 32 combat. Anyway, that is our first Slayer task completed on this account. Let's go grab another one from Birthorp. There are two tasks I want to avoid right now, which is Minotaurs and Cave Bugs. You can assign both of them. And we get... 44 bears. That's really good. Uh, those should be very easily safe spotable, actually. See, I love tasks like this where it's behind a cage and I can just chill. This this is so nice for me. It just makes me feel safe and comfortable. 27 Slayer XP per kill, so it's a better task than ghosts. And we're gonna need this raw bear meat for Druidic Ritual later. So it's nice that we got that out of the way. 16 Slayer. 17 Slayer. Can I kill Cave Slimes? Welcome. Another task that I really don't want to get assigned. Hopefully we don't get that one. Cave slimes can poison and there's no real safe spot I can consistently use. So I really, really can't do that one right now. Bear task completed. Let's go get another one. Come on, no cave slimes, no cave bugs. Let's keep the Slayer train going. Please, something good. Man, that is such a screwed up task. Why is this in the game? Um, I have to see if I can do this one. I'm not entirely sure I can. If we can find a way to do this, it would be great because dogs drop in sold heads. It would be my first Slayer task where I can actually get some prayer XP later on. Yeah, I was thinking, does this work? Can I shoot over this fence? Oh, <gasps> oh, and it gets trapped in the corner. Wait, this is so good. This is going to be one of my best Slayer tasks. Look at that, 49 XP per kill. That's so good. That's probably my best task I have right now. So good. And the best part is it's behind a fence. You love to see it. 41 magic, 18 slayer. I wonder if I can do animal magnetism on this account. That is the requirement. 20 slayer, what a nice milestone. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, we unlock things like rock slugs. And that's another task that I cannot do right now. The higher my slayer level gets, the higher the chance that I eventually get something I just cannot do right now. And I'm just gonna have to get protection prayers. We're on a pretty good streak right now, a very safe spotable task. So I wanna keep it that way as long as possible. Okay, task number four. We're getting very close to earning some slayer points. Come on, lucky task. Cow fights. Okay, so our first desert trip is locked in. I know for a fact this task is safe spotable, but the question is, do I go for the play? By the play, I mean cow fight guardians for the slayer task. They're level 140, a ton of HP, a ton of slayer XP per kill. I think I could find a safe spot for them. And if we take a look at their drop table, look at it, look at it. Rune chain body, med helm, a massive shield upgrade, mithril axe would be amazing too. I think we go for this. We'd be getting so much Slayer XP and potential insane gear upgrades. Also, yes, I'm buying a house because I unlocked teleport to house during that task. And oops, I left these tiles in from Tileman. Don't look at those. Okay. This is now my fastest way to get to Remington. So I'll be using this teleport from now on. But this is the main reason I came here. I wanted to buy a wizard hat. It was the one piece of magic gear I was missing. So now we have our complete magic set. And I'm going to be honest, we're going to need 
all of the magic accuracy we can possibly get for Calphite Guardians. I'm gonna have like a 30% chance to hit, so anything helps. Okay, we're gonna have to prepare for this. Let's buy some Shanty Passes. I have some water skins in my bank that I bought a while ago. We need to be insanely careful. Four water skins is so overkill. I probably won't take any desert heat damage, but I'm gonna bring some nature runes in case we need to alk something, and I think we're good to go now. Okay, there is one piece of danger that I need to watch out for here. Okay, there's nothing even close to the cave, which is great. There can be a camel kind of close to here, but we completely avoided it. So, okay, this is the tile. I tested this on another account. Trust the process, just trust the process, trust the process. <laughs> oh my God, it's so terrible. Just seeing something that large, a single tile away from like, almost certain damage. Okay, I did just put it into a calculator just because I'm so curious, and this thing has an 87% chance to kill me if it hits me, so absolutely no misclicks allowed on this one. I'm gonna make sure of that. Going to be extremely patient, and every single action is going to be precise. That is a ridiculous chance of failure here. It's officially been over two minutes since I started killing this thing, by the way. I'd be happy with a Mithril Axe, a Chain Body Med Helm, or Mithril Kite Shield. How about we get that? on our first kill. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my, no way! No way I actually got my first kill! One in 128, that's insane! That is so absurd, dude. Oh my God, I love this game and I love this account. Oh, I need to get 40 defense for this thing ASAP. That is gonna lower my chance of getting hit by an absurd amount.